On today's episode, we are going to be updating the BIOS on the Asus ROG Maximus Z790 Hero, an amazing yet very expensive motherboard. So without further ado, let's get into the updating. Step number one, you want to go ahead and grab yourself a USB. It doesn't have to be empty, but it does have to be formatted in FAT32. So how are we going to check that? So when you go to your file explorer, just like this, you'll see your USB right here. Go ahead and click properties and make sure it's in FAT32. If not, check out our other videos where we show you how to convert to FAT32. The next thing you wanna make sure is that you have the right model of the motherboard. So how are you gonna do that is by clicking system information and you'll find it right here under the baseboard product, ROG Maximus Z790 Hero. All right, so step number three, open up Google and search for the exact motherboard that you have. You wanna make sure it's the exact one. If it has Wi-Fi, include Wi-Fi. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You wanna make sure it's the exact same model. Otherwise, the BIOS might not be compatible. 99% of the time, it's usually the first link. Double check that it is ROG Maximus C790 Hero. Perfect. Click on the support tab. And in the support tab, if you head on over to driver and utility, you'll see BIOS and firmware. So on the BIOS page, you can see that 2301 is the latest BIOS. So you want to go ahead and download that. It's from 2024, May 30th. So pretty recent. After it's done downloading, you want to go ahead and extract the folder. It always comes zipped up. So go ahead and extract it and you'll see two different things. You'll see the actual BIOS and something called BIOS renamer. For Asus motherboards, it's very important that you actually rename it. If you don't, it won't work. So go ahead, double click BIOS renamer, read all the instructions. It basically just says press any key to continue and it will automatically rename your BIOS file. So press one key and you'll see that the BIOS name has officially changed. After that's all done, you can go ahead and drag the entire folder into your USB, just like so. It might take a second or two to copy over and you can see that it is inside of my USB now. Step number four, go ahead and restart your computer. Step number five, you wanna spam this delete key so you can get into the BIOS just like so. Perfect, we're in the BIOS. So the next thing you wanna do is head on over to tool. You'll see it just up here in the little menu and go ahead and choose Asus Easy Flash 3 Utility. In the file explorer, I see ROG Maximus C790 2301. That's the latest BIOS that we just downloaded. Go ahead and click the cap file. Make sure you read the important notice. Don't turn off your system while it's updating. Click yes, click yes again, click yes again. And now the motherboard is updating. One thing is very important. Do not turn off your system. Just go grab a coffee, come back five minutes later. Don't turn off your system during a motherboard BIOS update. Otherwise you could break your system. And just like that, we're back in Windows. The BIOS finally updated. It did take a little bit of time. We waited about 10, 15 minutes, but it's finally done and we can now use the system like normal. If this video helped you, please leave us a thumbs up, drop a comment and hit that subscribe button. Until the next video guys, peace.